Hi everyone, I'm Arian and welcome in this new video tutorial. Today we're going to create a cursor tracker for your website using Elementor, Elementor Pro and Dynamico. The plugins you will find everything in the description of this video. I'm going to use as a team, as always, Hello Team. So let's start. I have already a little page here and I'm going to edit this with Elementor. Here we are and go on the bottom of the page, click on this plus button here, click on this structure here and then you just need to click on this little plus button. Great, now we can search our widget and search for cursor. Cursor tracker, click, drag and drop it here and as you can see on the left you have all your settings and my cursor is working fine. So let's change the dimension of it to 80 so it's bigger now and then I'm going also to change uh, the fill color to black so you can see it well. Nice. You can change the stroke, opacity and whatever. As you can see we have also scroll progress and I will show you right away how it works. Just choose a stroke width here and I'm going to add a 10 and the progress color will be green. Nice. Now if I scroll on the top of the page, looks, look what happened. Uh, there is this bar that changed and this is pretty cool. Now let's say I want a mouse over effect on this button here. So I need to click here on the left side and uh, click on hover. And as you can see there is a little class here for your elements and I'm going to copy this. Select the element, like the click here button and then go on advanced and CSS classes, I will paste the code, great. Now I'm going back to my cursor settings, click on this again and now if I click on hover and then change those settings here like opacity, I will set to 0.1 and then scale, I will set it to let's say 5.55 and what happens if I mouse hover normally should change but it's not changing this because we need to update the page and refresh it so going to update this refresh the page great and now if I mouse over check it out it changed cool right if I scroll we have the green bar so everything's working fine if you want to do this for an image for an other text you just need to select the image for example and then go on advance and paste again the code like this now of course nothing happens you need to update the page and then refresh the whole page and now if I mouse over on my image this changes Nice, let's style a little bit better our cursor now. So let's go to the bottom, click on this gray bar, nice, and then I'm going to change the dimension of my dot, I'm going to have a little dot like this, and then I will disable the scroll page, not a big fan of the scroll progress bar, and then, uh, as you can see now, it changes. Alright guys, if the tutorial was useful, please like button, subscribe to the channel and notification bell. This will allow me to keep alive my YouTube channel and of course you'll be notified when I get a new tutorial out. So have fun and see you in the next one. Bye!